have I got a Virgin Voyages review for you. I've got some insider insights for you. I recently reached out to our fantastic Facebook group of fellow cruisers who joined us on this unforgettable voyage. And boy, did they have some valuable feedback. But before we dive into what we loved and what we didn't quite fancy about our adventure, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Thea of Traveling with Thea, and I'm here to share my cruising tips, tricks, and feedback so that you can have the best cruise yet. So now let's dive in. One thing that really stood out was the adult only vibe. No kids on board, which meant a peaceful and relaxing journey. Our group couldn't help but appreciate the tranquil atmosphere that allowed us to unwind and enjoy the voyage in our own way. Although, there did seem to be a bit of a pickup vibe around the pool. And let's talk about the food. It was nothing short of fantastic. A culinary experience that left our taste buds dancing and our plates empty. The only restaurant I heard a lot of complaints about was the Test Kitchen. It's a very experimental dining experience some just plain didn't like the food. Some didn't like that it took a really long time. And some said they were just hungry when they left. Now let's get real about the app. While it's handy for reservations, most of our fellow cruisers experienced major hiccups. It seemed that the app, although incredibly useful when it cooperated, had its moments of glitchiness. Our Facebook group had a spirited discussion about it with some sailors suggesting improvements for others suggested just scrapping it and starting over. And oh, those event notifications. It was like a constant stream of updates. When it did decide to notify you, it sent multiple notifications and it just kept going. I just stopped looking at it all together. It was so glitchy, it was useless. But we all did have a lot of laughs over the app. Now a virgin planning is key, my friend. We found that reservations was a bit of a puzzle, especially for those that booked last minute. If you're a go with the flow kind of person, you might need to adjust your approach a bit. Since everything must be reserved, this was a common problem. Here's a pro tip though, dining reservations open 45 days in advance for most cruisers. If you are in a suite and considered a rock star, you can make your reservation 60 days out. Some of the traditional cruisers I talked to missed the set time of the main dining room. One passenger confided to me that she, at home, she was always in charge of where to eat and what to eat, and having a break from that chore was her main joy of cruising. But with Virgin, she still had to decide where to eat and make the reservations. Now, before we move on to my next tips, let me take this opportunity to ask you to do me a big favor. If you like this kind of content, could you please smash that like button? Or if you'd be oh so kind, if you could subscribe to my channel, it really helps out a lot. Now, let's talk about ship layout. It's not as intuitive as you might think. There are a few tricky spots and a lot of dead ends. Even finding the bathroom proved to be a bit of a challenge for most everyone. But you know what they say, adventure is out there and this ship had its surprises in store. We heard this feedback loud and clear and it's definitely something to keep in mind. Although Virgin wants you to get lost and find things, we found ourselves getting lost a lot. The quirkiness of the layout got a little frustrating. So to combat that, I would suggest studying the deck plans before you go and knowing where you want to go. Keep in mind that the front and aft elevators do not go to all the floors. So that was one of the biggest parts of the problem. And now for sleeping arrangements. Some of our cruisers found the beds to be, well, now not the dreamiest. Ikea futon vibes. I will say the beds in the cheeky corner suite was quite comfortable. Now for the weird things in the cabin. One of my cruise mates complained that the regular cabin bathroom is, quote, comically small. She continued on to say, it's kind of insulting how tight it was designed. We were booked in a cheeky corner suite and I even found that a little small. And I really hated that our bathroom door was see-through. Fortunately, I was traveling with my husband, but if you're traveling with a friend, 
girls trip anyone, it would be quite awkward. Entertainment was also a source of contention. While some absolutely loved it, others were not very impressed. They also found that most of the entertainment was so late that there were some down and boring times during the day. One thing that many of my fellow pastors commented on was the how rocky the ship was. The seas didn't look particularly rough, but the boat was surely rocking. One pastor attributed it to the top-heavy design. Another thought maybe virgin ships don't have as good a stabilizers as some other lines. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. There were also some things people missed. One was a deck without obstructed views of the ocean. Virgin prides itself on not being like other cruise lines. So when they went to build their ships, they made sure not to hire people from the cruise biz. And it shows. The decks are obstructed with lifeboats and other equipment. Many also commented on the lack of grandeur. You know how most ships have a multi-story promenade? The closest Virgin has was a roundabout, a large circular stairwell, which was nice. Now for my biggest complaint. I have food allergies, quite a lot of them actually. And my travel agent reached out to Virgin before our cruise to make sure everything went smoothly. But I still had long waits at each restaurant and had to explain myself over and over about my allergies. I was also served several times items that are on my no-no list. So in my honest opinion, I would not recommend them for anyone with food allergies. That being said, the crew was a highlight for many. Exceptional service and friendly vibes were noted by cruisers across the board. Our Facebook group couldn't stop singing their praises, sharing stories of crew members going above and beyond to make their voyage unforgettable. Virgin voyages may not be for everyone, but it was certainly a great cruise. There you have it folks, straight from the pastures that sailed. Remember, every cruise has its quirks, but with a bit of planning, you are sure to have a blast. So until next time, happy cruising.